Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. This is David. And Mina. And tonight we are sitting around drinking and talking. Um, so what were we, what were we going to talk about tonight? Uh, we are going to spoil Gundam Build Fighters. Oh, Build Fighters Try. Okay. Build Fighters Try. Right. Um, yeah, if you, um, if you're not current with Gundam Build Fighters Try, um, Don't it's... Don't watch this. Or do. Or do. Yeah. Or do. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Um, the spoiler is, um, also on the Gunpla box and things. Mm. So, or we'll talk a little bit about it, the whole thing. Any, uh, but anyway, we're going to talk about, um... The winning Gundam. Right. And the star winning Gundam. Right. Okay. And why it is the most significant occurrence in Gundam history. <laughs> why? From a from a feminist perspective, how about that? That's a um that is that is a lofty statement. <laughs> I don't I don't disagree from a feminist perspective, mm. um that it you're probably right mm. there. Um but I, I there there are maybe depend Era specific, there might be some more, um, more important ones. Okay. But okay. So how about maybe starting with a very brief history of women Gundam pilots? Because I'll tell you, when you introduced Gundam to me, I heard boy pilot, or I heard about boy pilots, and so I didn't know to expect as many women piloting Gundam as early on as you see in the show. Okay, yeah, that's um. Show is up. <laughs> that is um. That is a a weird assertion. Okay, so I I um, I I was there for that whole discussion, um, uh, and a lot of people do um categorize it at, by by the fact that it has a lot of boy pilots. Um, but depending on the series, that's not actually as true as it sounds. Nor is it important ultimately. Um, no, it's 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 not really. Um. Largely, I mean, largely the primary protagonists for Gundam have been men, or young men. Mm. Um, I mean, that's sort of the market in the case, I guess. Mm. Um, so, I mean, you from Amuro all the way to current to to um, Kamiki Sekai mm. and uh, Iori Sei. Mm. Um, you always have you always have that the the the, the boy pilot character, mm. but. Um, Usually, Gundam is a team effort, right? So it's not like that. Um, at least, and and also you have your your other weird exceptions too. Um, like in a lot of the manga, um, you actually do have exceptions to that rule. Mm. Um, but so okay, so Mobile Suit Gundam, mm. um, Mobile Suit Gundam, oh, female pilots. You have Sailor Mass. Mm. Uh, I guess she's the um, she's the primary one. Mm. Um, and Sela is Char's twin or uh, sister, 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 younger sister, younger but sister. She's one of the first times we see face sparkle and new type powers. Uh, yeah, she's she's one of the one of the new types, mm. um, and probably possibly the first. I can't remember specifically, um, but so we've got Sela. Um, does anyone else on white base pilot? Um, Miri doesn't pilot. Mirai. 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 No. Mirai doesn't pilot, but we know she's a new type. She is a new type. And she pilots the white base and basically <laughs> saves everyone's life over and over and over again, even though she's not a trained military base pilot. Yeah, she she acts as um as a replacement captain, actually, right. for um, Noah Bray. No, no, no. Noah is captaining. She's doing she, all the Oh, hard she does work. The, the piloting, yeah. She pulls the levers and makes it not yeah. crash into things. Yeah. So I guess if, if you count if you count um, ship pilots, then mm. you've even got a bigger number. Oh, sure. Uh, particularly when you get into, like, double O. Right. Um, mm. But, okay, so you've got um, <coughs> Original Gundam. They, it didn't have a lot, but it also didn't really have a lot of characters. But Original Gundam also had Lala. the most important, right? Yeah, Lala is... Um, the mother of new types, right? Yeah, she is, uh, she is arguably the most archetypal character in Gundam. Mm. Um, Char calls her the most potent or most... Uh, She's considerably more powerful than him. He yeah, does. yeah. She, um, he, he did express that she was superior to him. Mm. Um, and again, 
we we're going to talk spoilers. So if mm. you, you're not familiar with Gundam, you, this is going to be some surprising stuff, I guess. Um, Lala dies, but it's not because she's a bad pilot. If anything, it's because she's a good pilot. She's an exceptional pilot, um, and she chooses her death. Yeah, she chooses to get between Amaro and Char, um, so Which Char does not die. a choice I would have made. Yeah. Mm. Um, He's a cute. So, um, she gets in between Amaro and Char, saves mm. Char's life. Mm. Um... And really, I mean, she's not just saving Char's life, really. She's, she's saving um, Char's mission. Right. Uh, Char's vision. Right. Um, which is, of course, bigger than Char. Right. Um, and in dying, she kind of creates the astral spiritual realm that then all new types who die kind of go to. Yes. We don't really see evidence of this new type heaven or whatever. Yeah. Until she dies. Yeah. So she is, um, she is arguably the most important character in Gundam. I'll drink to that. Um, depending on how you want to look at it. Mm. Uh, and she is, she is essential throughout the series. Um, even though, even though she's only in a few episodes, uh, mm. as a living character, as a pilot, she continues to be very important. Right. Um, and she is pretty much like cameoed in every, every series almost. Mm. Uh, or at least every Universal Century series. Um, so and and the, both gunfighter or build fighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's... Um, so then we have um, Zeta Gundam. Mm. Zeta Gundam. Uh, it's full of women pilots. N yeah, yeah. And they all die horribly. In fact... Um, but everybody dies horribly, so it's not just the women. But yes. There's no fridging when everyone is fridged. Um, Fa Yuri is one of the only characters that doesn't die. Correct. Uh, and she is she is a, a, a Gundam pilot. Uh, in you see, right? Mm -hmm. um, what's her face pilots briefly, doesn't she? Well, you're going to have to be. Uh, <laughs> she came with Amaro. Frau. Oh, oh yeah, Frau Bo. Frau Bo. Um, she pilots briefly, doesn't she? I could have sworn she gets in the I think she does, uh, but it's it's pretty disastrous because she didn't read the manual. Right. Um, and, you know, she's not a new type. And, right. She, but she did she did briefly pilot the right. RX-78-2. Right. Um, so we've got... Um, Fa Yuri mm. uh, is, is um, important. Um, and then we have... Um, well, in Zeta Gundam introduces um, Haman Karn, um, who is the best Gundam pilot in Universal Century history. Mm. Um, and one of the coolest characters. Yeah. Lady knows how to play the media. She knows. <laughs> yeah. Um, she is, of course, not... Uh, she is not the primary villain of Zeta Gundam. Mm. But she is introduced in Zeta Gundam. Mm. Um, but she is... Um, Char admits um, that she is um, his superior. So mm. that is one of the two, two people that um, Char ever says is better than him. Mm -hmm. Um funny. Yeah, both both of them. And both of them, he slept. Probably, yeah. <laughs> d d there's like questionable canon. It's um, in the mangas and mm. and the side the novels and mm. stuff. Um, even if you look at um, Tomino's novelizations of the stories, mm. um, sometimes they contradict the main stories. Mm. Um, so it's it's sort of up in the air. No clear voice of God here. <laughs> no, no, no. Tomino is pretty contradictory. Mm. Um, As is war. <laughs> so we have um and who else is in um zeta we have um who's in the orange suit the meth the methus um what? we're googling some of this stuff sorry guys yeah yeah i surprised him with this we question. are drinking and i and this wasn't something that i had the time to prepare for at all mm. so um well of course in the meantime we've got um four Four. Uh, four is a pilot. She pilots the 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 Mark One Psycho Gundam. And this is the first time we start seeing clones and battle dolls. Who are Correct. Battle dolls. There's two battle dolls. Oh oh oh! The um, bad guy calls them battle. One of the bad guys calls the girls battle dolls. Yeah yeah. But I think um, they're just new type clone type things. Yeah. Um, Rico Alande. Mm. Uh, oh, oh God. Yeah, Rico's story is really sad. All of these stories are really sad. Yeah, yeah. Zeta Gundam, Zeta Gundam is basically um, terribly sad. Um, it's depressing. <laughs> and Tamino... Tamino was going through a bad time. Yeah, Tamino was going through a lot of shit, and it really, really shows. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got Fa, we've got Rikoa. We don't have this robot. 
Oh, the Mathews? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think there's a, a relatively modern HG. Mm. There's, um, there's like a 1990s era HG. I don't mm. know if there's a new one or not, but, mm. um, yeah. So, um, let's see. Recon. Hmm. And Rakoa was killed by Emma. Yes. Um, Emma Sheen, uh, who is pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, actually, she's one of the, like the most badass characters in Zeta. I want to say she just like she just jumps into the new type afterlife too. Like it's not like a. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then um, Sirocco has a couple of uh, yeah. Sirocco has a couple of pilots mm. um, who are women. Um, Hmm. He had um man. Guy's a creeper. S Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. That's right. That this one of the bad guys refers to her as a battle doll. Mm -hmm. And we can tell and it's funny, we can tell that he's a bad guy because he's a misogynist. Correct. And he doesn't believe women should be on the battlefield, so he goes after the women characters first and hardest. Yes. And uh, he puts them through the ringer. Yeah, and so that's that's how we know also he has a tattoo on his chest. That's how we know he's um, a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. So a turtle. Hmm. Um And then who else is there in, in Zeta? There's um well, uh, what's his name? This guy, the pretty boy. No. Sirocco? Sirocco has this image that Earth will be ruled someday by, by women. By women. Correct. And so he's like kind of grooming this stable of women. Mm -hmm. And it's either because, like, that's really what he thinks is going is going to happen, or he's doing that kind of, like, Charles Manson kind of, like, convincing his followers that there's going to be, you know, a revolution and the only safe place is near him. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, I could, yeah, there's definitely, that's a, that's a good parallel. That's creepy. He's so um, creepy. But, as a result of him, we've got some great lady pilots, so. Damn it. Um... Belchorka, does Del Belchorka pilot? She pilots something. Um, I don't know if it's a Gundam. Or mobile suit. Armor. Mobile armor. Whatever. Mm. She flies a jet. <laughs> she flies like a prop plane onto the base. <coughs> yeah. Mm. Um, I don't know. I can't remember how to spell her name, so I'd look it up. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much Zeta. Zeta doesn't have a huge cast, but it is about half women. Doesn't she marry Amuro? Uh, Belchorka and Amuro don't get married. Um, Amuro it hooks up with um, Sela Mass mm. um, in the end. But mm. um, but they do have kids, and that goes terribly. Yeah. Well, eh, not terribly terribly, but it it doesn't really work. Not like Mirai's children. No, it's not like... Well, and, and yeah, Brent Noah's son um, mm. is, is a one of the biggest tragedies in the Gundam series. Did you, you know, write that out? Um, no, <laughs> okay. no, no, actually. It's when he doesn't. Um, no, that's, no, that's just, that's just an awful tragic story. So if you get involved in Gundam and you have kids, don't let your kids go to war. Yeah. Or I guess don't let your kids go to war no matter where you are. Hmm? Yeah. Um, so that's, that's basically Zeta. Mm. Uh, Double Zeta has a whole bunch. Um, Double Zeta is pretty much full. Uh, and let's see. Who does... And Double Zeta is not as much of a joke as it seems like. It starts out that way, and I think that's because Tamino wanted to give us all a break. Uh, but... It stays relatively lighthearted. Like, there are, there are some, some hard stuff. beats, but it's... There's some heavy stuff. It's not... It's, it's not Zeta. Like it's, no, and nor should it be. UC wasn't Zeta. Z Z the, yeah, Zeta the original story. No, but but Mobile Suit Gundam is a very serious show. Mm -hmm. uh, and serious like business. robots is serious business. Yeah, and um, so so was Zeta. Mm -hmm. um, Double Zeta was a little bit more light heart, lighthearted, mm -hmm. and it you know it what was what it was. Um, Anime Jedi. Anime Jedi. Hi. Um, so, let's see, of course, um, the plays, uh, play and play two, are um, important. Uh, they're both 
young girls, and they both die terrible, terrible deaths. Mm. Um, it's really fucking sad. Mm. L um, is one of the main Gundam pilots in the series. Mm. Um, she's a part of the Gundam team. Mm. Um, and Kara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kara, um, who is basically an escapee from the... Um, the enemy of Gem and the Holograms, right? Yes. Um, yeah, she really, yeah, Char really. Uh, <laughs> she's She is um, a great pilot, but, you know, hates piloting and it hurts her and things. Um, let's see. Lena. Um, I, I don't think Lena ever actually pilots anything. Though. But she is a new type. Yeah, she is a new type, mm. but we never really see her at that point. Mm. Like, it, she's not old enough. Mm. Um, of course, Minerva Zabi. Is well, Minerva Zabi is a kid at this point. Right. Um, she doesn't pilot anything, but she is totally a new type. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, um, we have Rue. Who has the best pilot suit. Yeah, with the um, the more you know star. <laughs> She's great. I fucking love that. I totally wear that on a t-shirt. Yeah. Um, so. And she's and, a fantastic pilot. Like she's exceptional. Yeah, she's she a badass, and it. she doesn't have to rely on all of the mm -hmm. super new type shit. Um, mm -hmm. She hops in everybody else's plane uh, pi uh, ship. Yeah, mobile she, armors. Yeah, that's it. She starts off not mobile armors, <laughs> mobile suits. Big difference. Um, <laughs> Power armor, right? She because she starts off. <laughs> she starts off in the core fighter. She right. brings the core fighter. She shows up in the core. Um, that's her whole thing. Is she's trying to get the, the new core fighter. <coughs> um, she pilots the the Zeta. Mm -hmm. um, she pilots the, the Mark Two. Yeah, the Mark Two. And the double Zeta. And the double. So she um, is. And doesn't she end up in the Yakushiki? Somebody. Um, no, no, no. Oh, she, they're arguing over it. The women pilots argue over who gets to ride the, drive the Correct. Yoshiki, and unfortunately, it's neither of them. Yeah. Um, but so I mean, there's there, there's a couple of other minor parts, but yeah. that's that's for the most part double Zeta. But oh, man, one of the best characters too. The 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 like the of the one offs, the kind of like incidental characters. That is, there's that woman they run into in the desert. Oh yeah, is yeah, yeah. She is, guy? and she is actually the best pilot that they fight through pretty much the entire series. She almost takes them out with a shitty decommissioned old Zeon suit. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Best story. She, I would like, have loved to see what her story was progressing forward. Yeah, yeah. She was. She was a great character. Mm -hmm. I really liked her. Mm -hmm. um, definitely would have wanted to see more. Um, and so that's that's the primary that's gundam zeta and double zeta mm -hmm. um and then you've got like eighth ms team um the primary character is woman pilot right um and then you've got some side characters in some of the other other stories there um there's the manga at the school that's primarily a female pilot oh yeah yeah um a, Equal to Sale, I, I believe it's the French name, um, and it's basically all girls. Uh, mm. It's it's basically all girl mobile suit suit um, school, uh, and th that's a great story. But I mean, there's there's thirty or so manga, so it's just you know one of them, um, and but there's the the manga tend to have more um, girls than boys. So I I think it's probably because for one girls, girls read, read manga. And for another, they can take more risks uh, mm. in the manga. They don't mm. have to. They don't have to. The budgets aren't as bad. Uh, yeah, the bu budget isn't as big, so they don't have to play to the, like the base. Mm. Uh, they, they don't have to. They don't have to play it conservatively. Um, but I mean, Gundam has a lot of women pilots anyway. It so. really does. Um, and what I think it's interesting about the boy pilot, the main character, the Amaro, the you know those guys. Are they the heroes of the story? It's questionable. Are they the catalysts of a lot of the events? Sure. Uh, and do the events kind of follow their story? Yes. But I don't know that you can really call them the heroes. Very often they don't make the heroic choices. It's the women that are supporting them. And the people, the men too. The people who are supporting them that are like really making heroic choices and heroic sacrifices. Boy pilots are basically just enduring. 
you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the the default simple way to look at the story is is that there are protagonists, and that's the the who you see the most of the characters on the white base, the characters on the Argama. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's I mean, really Gundam's more cast. complicated than that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then of course with um, with Unicorn, you get Marita Cruz, um, who is one of the clones of the the play clones. Mm. Um, only she got to live past being a little kid um, and she has a really tragic story but mm. she is awesome and Pilot is <coughs> the single coolest mobile suit in Gundam it's, in my opinion it's basically like in the hierarchy it's like Sarah Connor mm-hmm. her yeah Maybe Laura Croft. <laughs> yeah, she's she's special. Yeah, like, um, her death was really really hard. Mm. Um, that was that was not a good thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you, you still have feels. It's okay. Oh yeah. Um, so no, her her death was her the death was intense. But that so that's um that's the basics. And then I mean you've got you've got others across the various shows. Mm. Um, we I mean we've been talking about G Gundam. G Gundam has um, the two most important pilots. The two the two best. The, the, the two, two yeah the the two undefeated or whatever. <laughs> the um it has Rain uh, and it has Alan B. Mm. Um, and so those two those two are great. Um. Which could border on tokenism, but the way that it plays out, it feels not so much mm, like tokenism. I don't know. Um, I, I, it I mean, it isn't. It, it is everything in that show is tokenism, so it's kind of like yeah, yeah. I guess. Um, I I think it was mostly just incidental. Yeah, it's it's definitely not Smurfette syndrome. That's the thing that I was really mm-hmm. surprised by going through all of this. I never felt like any of the women who show up in these stories are Smurfettes. No, they're never like you have. Four guys who were different kinds of guys. And this is the the girl. And then this is the girl. And that's what's distinctive about her. Yeah. It never feels like that. No, no, no. Um, I can't remember X Gundam very well. It's been a very long time since I've seen it, but I don't, I, the, the two main pilots are guys, but Mm. I can't remember if there are any others. It's been a very long time. Mm. Um, wing, of course, it has a different dynamic because it's, uh, it has the five boys. Um, but also it's, really it was the first one that you well the the boys are supposed to be cute and <laughs> yeah, they're basically a pop idol group but instead they have killer robots yeah they're psychotic yeah they're they're psychotic boy band basically um <laughs> which man i'd watch that show oh i mean it, gundam wing broke a lot of ground because it did do a lot of marketing towards girls right. um i mean not if, in the way i prefer but I no guess. well the wing zero custom is a gorgeous kit yeah. and it, like it's it's beautiful yeah. and it's definitely made for that yeah um and so it, it was it had some crossover appeal despite not having any women pilots and you know has the most romantic line any gun to right i'll kill you i'll kill you um it has some some, <laughs> it has some stuff later but um yeah, she won't even watch it. Um, <laughs> I watched some of it. Like two oh, episodes. Funny. Sexy is fun. I like Zex? Sexy. Yeah, but yeah. He's good. Um, He's for me. No, it, there, there's there's a little bit of growth <laughs> later on. So that's Wing. Um, and then Seed. Um, Seed had Kigali. Plucky Space Princess. Yeah. Um, Big fan. Yeah. Um, oh, and the Astray pilots. Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of a lot of incidental characters who pilot as well. Um, it has a weird, like, sort of branched out cast too. And a woman captain on the equivalent of the white base, whatever it's called. Correct. Uh, it was the first series to do that, right. um, and then of course Double O did that as well. Right. Um, Kigali is the only like primary pilot. Um, but there's not a really big cast in that. That le- there, there is a big cast, but really, it's it's mostly just um, <laughs> Kira Yamato. Or... Well, yeah, it's it's Kira Yamato and uh, Athrun Zala, and their sort of their sibling friendly rivalry. Less plucky space princess does get in a ship, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's in. Yeah. Oh, who pilots like Athene? 
Oh, the oh oh oh! I'm looking back at our pile of unbuilt Gundam here. I'm like, wait a second, I'm holding pilots the Um. <laughs> the I could probably I'm drinking. The box I'm too. drinking. Yeah, you could. You could. Um. Oh, Ricola Lande. Duh. Oh, Ricola. Yeah, right. She when she turns kind of evil. Yeah, that's that's what she dies. Her in. reward is she gets this badass looking robot. Yeah. Oh my god, it's badass looking. Well, then they that a lot of the women pilots have the best ones because the, the 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 Palace Athene, uh is one of the best, and then you've got um, in Double Zeta, um, the Queen Mansa. Mm. Um, the Queen Mansa is amazing. And that's um, play the one of the plays, uh, and then you in um, in Zeta you have the Kubli, um, which is one of the coolest mobile suits out there, and that's um, Haman Karns, um, the plays pilot those two, um, and then the um, damn it the um, the Kshatriya yeah. is um, Marita cool. Cruz, like that. and that's like that's an evolution of yeah, them. Yeah, right. And we talked beautiful. about that in the G Gundam series too. It's basically like there's this heritage, mm -hmm. like like these robots are almost matrilineal. Yeah, is that a word? Yeah, I'm close. I'm close. I think so. I'm close. I'm an I English know. teacher. I can make it up. Um, and and actually details of the the that line that evolution show up in the winning Gundam when we get there and we'll get there. Mm, yeah, I yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, and Lose. so. Yes, yes. And so we have that. We have um, and we have, we have seed, and then we have double O. Double O. Double O does not have any. Um, the 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 main cast is the five boys. Right again, a boy band. Um, yes, uh, because it is a, a retelling of Wing, effectively, mm. Mm. Um, only better. Mm. Um, more adult. Better. Okay. Yeah. Well, better. Nobody, nobody, nobody tells anyone it's. I'll kill you. No, no, no. It's 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 just better. Um, Setsuna is infinitely better than Hiroyoi. Um, or at least more damaged. Or more apparently damaged. Yeah. Damaged uh, like, in a more reasonable way. Well, in in a more relatable <coughs> and sympathetic way, and an interesting way. Absolutely. Um, and I mean, Lock On, Alleluia, Tieria. They're they're great. Oh. They're, oh. Well, yeah, in the main cast. Okay. But she ends up in the main cast. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, Soma Pires, uh, and she is she is actually one of the team, um, and she's even credited in the second season. Mm. Um, so Soma Pires is one of them, um, and she co-pilots with um, with Alleluia. Mm -hmm. uh, she has the archer to his Arios, I believe. Yeah. Uh, or Curios, I can't remember which one it was at that point. They ch they changed um, significantly. But she or, pilots a weird GNX for first, right? Yeah, she pilots a GNX, and she uh, she starts off in a, um, a Tyran ground type. Not a cool looking robot. The pink Tyran? You're wrong. I mean, it's cool that it's pink because I no, like the, pink. Uh, the Tyrans are neat looking. The feet, the feet are so ugly. Okay. They are. They have the weird big like things on them. The big tubes on the feet. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The um, I know what you're talking about. They, the, look it up. It's ugly. <laughs> the the tear uh, Look it up and then look put down in the comments that tell me that I'm right. You're not, but okay. Um, so the Tyran, uh, but so Soma is one of them, and We're then using YouTube to settle our marital disputes. Sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> It's just, it's just debate debate about whether or not you're right about a mobile suit. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much what we got. <laughs> that's it. And then um, dishes, and that's it. Oh God, what's her name? I um, need to do the dishes. <laughs> I need to do that. Um, what's her name? The th okay, the tr Nina Trinity. Nina Trinity. Nina, Nina Trinity. And, and Nina is a psychopathic clone. Is she a clone? Well, or she ends up a clone. Like, there, well, a there is a clone, clone of her, of her uh, which is actually a much more reasonable character. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> just, just. So, what is Tamino's deal with women being clones? Is that like a rebirth goddess kind of shedding her skin and becoming a new version of herself thing? Or am I digging too deep? I have no idea, honestly. You know what I'm talking about, the snake well, goddess and, you know, with the... 
rebirth and so on. Yeah, no, I, I know what you're talking about. No, I, I, I don't know. I, um, I, I would say, though, that with, like, Double O, Double O continues that, but that's pretty much everything in Double O is not because of an independent choice, but it's because of something else that another Gundam series did. Right, but the UC does it. Well, yeah, yeah, well, that's... What I'm saying is mm. Double, Do- Double O does it because of that. Mm. Uh, because it's in UC so so prominently. Mm. Um, and so we, ha- we have characters that are plays on those. Um, like there's four and five, whatever her name was. Well, there, yeah, there's there's four. There's the plays. Uh, Marita. Um, it's that's, that's all very... Uh, I mean, it's... I think it's partly incidental because those characters are on the Xeon side um, and the Xeon story is uh, pushing toward evolution. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's got to be super science involved. Yeah. and well, it's and because it's not boys. You, no, that's true. I, I, don't, I don't know if it has a different significance. Mm. I just... I, I know that those pilots tend to be the the women pilots skew towards the Xeon side, mm. um, so they are more likely to be there. I don't know if it's just a, a, a coincidental thing or what. No, um, I don't feel like it. I feel like there's some weird rebirth goddess reincarnation kind of thing, but like that's just me. If you out there in the intertubes have read somewhere that has a better dissection of why so many of the women pilots in the UC and then elsewhere are clones or creations, Mm -hmm. I would love to hear more. Yeah. Because I could also see definitely a Pygmalion kind of thing there. Yeah. Desire to create this perfect woman. It just happens that the perfect woman is also, you know, murderous killing machine. Yeah, I um, and I like. I never really liked. Um, I never really liked four too much. Um, she's okay. You're supposed to like her. I, no, you're supposed to. But a lot of Zeta was like moments of you know detachment and stuff because you know it is it's really bleak. So yeah. it's hard to it's hard to really attach yourself and know a lot of that. Oh, honey, you're gonna die. I'm not. Yeah, I can't love you. I'm um, sorry. Like you pretty much go in knowing mm-hmm. that only a couple of characters are going to survive, and even then, barely. Yeah, and it's um, not the ones you want. No, um, I don't know. Foss survives. She's cool. Yeah, uh, exactly and cool. technically, Camille survives. Um, that's rewritten. Yeah, it's, that's sort of Who's well. It's, He's yeah, fine. He's fine now. Uh, well, he is fine at the end of Double Zeta, so that's all that's really important mm. there. But um, the true high is hit hard. Yeah, yeah. Um, got, yeah, got the drink. Mm. Um, but in, um, in Double O, I actually like those characters a lot more. Mm. The, the, the play characters in, um, in Double Zeta mm. are annoying as shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, like, I guess you're supposed to be annoyed with them, but the problem is, is that you've got this, like, ten-year-old girl, and when she, when she dies, you're kind of like... Well, good thing she's not in the cast anymore. <laughs> what a relief. Um, oh my god, did I just think that? Yeah, so maybe, maybe Tomino's point was to make you feel awful as a human being. I don't know. Mm. But um, I, I never really liked any of those characters that much. But um, in Double O, you have um, Nina, who is weird and strangely subversive in her relationship with um, Setsuna. Mm. Um, and, and crazy. Like, she's definitely yes. tweaked. She is another child soldier, and she's, as a result, Yes. Screwed. She and her brothers are fucked. Yeah. Um, Which is a reoccurring theme in Gundam. It's basically, if you take children and you turn them into warriors, bad things will happen. Bad things will happen, yes. Um, so, you know, it's got a thing for that. And, and rightly so. But, uh, and th- then we've also got um, a new returner. Uh, she is the other big female clone character. Okay. Um, we could argue that Tieria on the main cast is ambivalent at the very least. Tieria is not oh, yeah. strictly male. The male pronoun is attributed to Tieria, but I don't think it's uh, fair to say Tieria is male. Tieria is um is referred to as male by most of the cast um but bondi sells uh female coded toys um literally they um there there's a line of uh 
action figures or model models, mm. um, statues mm. uh, that contains uh, all of the girl characters. It has Iorise's mom. It has uh, Fumina. It has um, uh, Chinakuska. Mm. Uh, you can get you can get Lacus Klein and all of that. Tiaria is one of them. And the reason for this is there's a scene where they have to go undercover mm -hmm. into a dance, mm -hmm. and all of the male characters, all the all of the clearly identifiable as male characters, go in suits or yeah. don't go at all. Tiaria shows up in a dress. Yeah. And it's arguable that that's an anime trope where, haha, we've got to have some of the male characters dress up in a dress to go undercover, but she's fully developed as mm -hmm. a woman. Yeah, and and the dress is revealing to suggest that these secondary sexual characteristics are native to her. Yeah, <laughs> well, and and if you look at the um, all of the other because uh, um, Terry is kind of an innovate, um, they're weird. Not a new type thing, but like a double O. They're double O's version of almost a new type. Sort of, yeah. Type, um, like. Kind of, yeah. And they're mostly like heavily androgynous, even mm -hmm. though they sort of skew one way or the other. They are they are much more androgynous than the mm -hmm. rest of the show. Um, he wears a pink sweater. He's very yeah. sort of dowdy. Yeah. Um, and the pilot, the robots that she pilots, he or she. Uh, have a gimmick where it appears this big, bulky, um, butch male Correct. robot, and, and then, then its superpower is that it ejects all of its huge male coated pieces, and beneath is this very spelt feminine figure with long pink hair. Correct, yeah. And that's the gimmick, is that it's actually secretly so much more powerful on the inside once it sheds its male skin. And I cannot believe that that's a coincidence. No, it's it's not a coincidence. Mm. It's not a coincidence at all. A coincidence at all. Mm. It's it's a weird, subversive gender play. Yeah. Um, it's wonderful. So if you like trans characters, you should take take a look at Tyria. Yeah, Tyria Erde is, um, is a wonderful character mm. um, for a lot of reasons, not just that her. one. Yeah, him or her. Um, them, I love them. I love them. Thierry is wonderful. Mm. So, um, so that's that's double O, mm. uh, and then you've got, um, and then you've got build fighters. Really, I mean, like I, I don't know anything about Gundam Age, honestly, Sorry. so I can't really speak to it. Don't um, turn me on. Yeah. So um, maybe if we get enough requests, we'll watch it. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Uh, that would be weird. Um, <laughs> It has some pretty stuff in it. It has um, the Gundam Farsia. Oh, the Farsia. I love the Farsia. Yeah, it has some pretty designs. Um, Who pilots the original bear guy? The bear guy? Mm. Uh, the, the bear guy comes from um, Gunpla Builders. Uh, and I don't know. I've never actually seen it. Mm. Um, I've never seen it. Mm. Give me a second and I'll look it up real quick. <laughs> Yes, from G Generation. Mm. Uh, or Gunpla Builders. Yeah, Gunpla Rina. Builders. Definitely one. Reina Noyama. Bear Guy's got a history with the ladies. Oh, yeah. Um, She is one of the three protagonists. Happy Go Lucky. Yeah. Yeah. And this is this is a forerunner. This series is a forerunner of... To build her. Yeah, it's not, um, they're not in any way tied, mm. but there are definitely references between the two. Um, and it's But this is definitely one. teams of gunpla fighters who are piloting their ships in imaginary fights. Yeah, uh, I don't think they're Im imaginary. I think in Gunpla Builders, it's actually like, you know, hero, hero stories. I don't, um, see i don't know i've never i've never seen it i'm looking here uh oh vir okay no it is a virtual world of gunball battle mm. so you know you're you're right yeah um looks cute yeah we'll have to check it out um i've heard it's okay um uh, i've not heard any phenomenal things about it mm. but yeah. Got so. Build Fighters, however. Build Fighters, though. Phenomenal. Yeah, Build Fighters is wonderful. Um, Build Fighters has um, Chita Kuska. Mm -hmm. uh, Build Fighters has um, uh, Isla. Isla. Um, 
Bill Fighters has. I love who we can trace all the way back very easily to Nobel's pilot. Yeah, well, and and more because I and mean, more. she sure. her her ultimately she pilots the um, well at first she pilots the Kubelite Papillon, mm. um, which of course is um, a play on um, Heyman Karn's Kubelite, and it is a beautiful robot. Yeah, it's um, lovely. It was our Christmas tree topper this year, actually. Yeah, yeah, the Kubelite Papillon is lovely. Um, so you know that's that's there, and um, she is a she is a sort of answer to all of those clone characters too. She's, she is they, she is because there's a suggestion that she was built for it. Um, but so that's the uh, the first series mm. build fighters basically. Um, there's bit parts women. There's even a little like sub competition that's all women pilots. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's well, that's where the Barry Song comes into play, mm. um, and fights a modified Night Gundam. Right. Yeah. And she fights outside of the box. Correct. Right. Correct. Yeah. Um, Literally. <laughs> but so that's um. I mean, that's that's basically Bill Fighters. Mm. Um, Bill Fighters try. Mm. Um, Bill Fighters try. It um, takes all this progress up to the next level. They're basically like we went through the basic stuff. Mm-hmm. And now let's do some really progressive, transgressive stuff. For yeah. a kid's show. For a kid's yeah. show. Yeah. Don't panic. Um, Bill Fighters Try, if you mm. haven't seen it, is mm. about uh, three uh, middle schoolers. Um, they are um, Kamiki Sakai, mm. uh, Fumino Hoshino, mm. and um, Kuska, Kuska, what's his first name? <laughs> I can't remember. Yumi. Oh, you, 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 uh, Yuma. Yuma. Um, Yuma-kun. Yukun. She does call him Yukun. Uh, so cute. Yeah, Yuma Kuska. Mm-hmm. Um, and Yuma is China's younger brother. Yeah, Chida Kuska, the um, the pilot of the Bear Guy San. Mm. Um, yeah. Mm. Um, so we have those three characters mm. and the premise of Gundam Build Fighters Try is that instead of these um, these one-on-one competitions, it's actually um, three-on-three mm. competitions. And so... Which makes for much better toy population. <laughs> you, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Mm. The, um... The t- team starts out with uh, Fumina. Um, F- Fum- Fumina uh, wants to start a team, but she doesn't have enough people in her club. Right. Um, it is basically her. Um, and mostly she wants to rebuild a team because her best friend... Yuma. Yuma. Well, his heart was broken. He was driven away from Gunpla. And she wants to get him back into Gunpla because they're friends. Yeah. And she wants that connection back with him. Um, so she needs the third guy. Yeah. Uh, and so we have, um, Kamiki Sekai, Sekai-kun, uh, Sekai comes into the show and he is a mysterious figure who is a martial artist. Probably American. Uh, possibly American. He's a weird foreigner. Um, he is, um, referential to, um, to Reiji. Right. Uh, from, yes, from, from the first season. Mm. Um, and this is explicitly noted. Um, some of the characters have talked about it. Mm. Um, who, uh, and Reiji was the master pilot who piloted, um, Iori Se's wonderfully built gunpla. They right. worked as a team. Okay. Um, but so Sekai is piloting one of Iori's, um, gunpla that he built for Reiji. Um, the Build Burning Gundam. Mm. Um, Build Burning Gundam. Do we have one up here? I don't think so, actually. Mm. I think he got knocked down. He's probably somewhere. Yeah, he's been played with. Our children like Gunpla, too. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the Build... Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's an additional Build Burning Gundam. <laughs> um, the, so the Build Burning Gundam... Um, what? It makes a lot of noise, I'm sorry. Yeah, whatever. This is a storage box. Yeah, well, that's a, actually a project. Um, I've got it in process. It's progress a project. Right now. Yeah. Um, it usually means mutations and explosions. So. Yeah, I'm actually mixing the Bill Burning and the EZSR. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Yeah. So anyway, um, the bill burning mm. is um, is Sekai's weapon, mm. and then we have the lightning Gundam. I do have a lightning Gundam. He's got the lightning Gundam. Yeah. Which is kind of boring. Uh, I like it. I, I like it. I like it's it. It's a solid robot, but the yeah. the guy who's supposed to have built it, Chino's younger brother, is supposed to be this artistic talent. Like he wins the Gundam Grand Prix building competition. Yeah, the artistic building. Right. So yeah. you think it should be something really beautiful. It should be really mind-blowingly beautiful, but mostly it's just a pretty solid robot. Yeah. Meh. Um, and then that is the Power GM Cardigan, mm. um, which is Fumina's mm. um, starting gun claw. Uh, but it only lasts a couple of episodes. Uh, and to be a little meta here, it's not the greatest kit. No, no, no. It's actually... Well, I mean, it's it's a GM. It's The GMs are like Ancient. the mass-produced random bullshit right. in the Gundam universe. And, and she doesn't build that. No, it's just a we random doesn't... thing that's sort of like around. <laughs> we that. don't even know where she got it. She just found it in the streets. Yeah. <laughs> Washed up on shore. She's like, you know, I guess I'll fight with that, whatever. Soon thereafter, though, she builds the winning Gundam. She decides that she's going to build her own Gundam, and she's going to do it her way, and she's going to build what is ultimately this massive, incredible support weapon. Because mm -hmm. all of his gimmicks are basically that he's transformable. To fight. Mm -hmm. Despite the fact that he's adorable, chibi, cute, all. He's transformable. He can turn into this awesome fist that makes Sekai Kun's weapon, you know, martial arts a million times better. Yeah. So she decides to kind of, and I mean, literally, she sacrifices herself. That's her whole stick. Yeah. She breaks into pieces, and her pieces fly around, and they make the male characters better. Yes. Um, the legs become the extensions on the Lightning Gundam sniper rifle. Yeah. Um, the the body becomes the fist of mm. the um, the Bill Burning Gundam. Mm. Um, the the rocket packs become um, extensions of the fist as well. Mm. Um, so yeah, it breaks apart and basically becomes support pieces. And this is creepy. Mm hmm. Uh, I gotta say, from a feminist perspective, at least as far as we get into the winning gun, I'm like, really? She's got the chibi, easy-to-build robot, and its whole thing is that it breaks up and makes the guys better in a fight? Ugh. Mm -hmm. But I also need to pause here and acknowledge that, one, Bandai's got a longer view of these things, and two, this is an important issue currently in Japan. As women are struggling with the conflict between being housewives and mothers and wanting to be in the workforce. Mm -hmm. So in a lot of cases, literally Japanese women today are finding themselves split into pieces mm -hmm. as they struggle between making enough money to support their households or to help support their households and still be able to take care of the kids, take care of the household. Because there's these things that men are not raised to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, until at least recently. And so, at least in that way, the struggles of Femina to build a Gundam that is her own and is her voice, but still be able to compete, at that point, mm -hmm. her choice is to be competitive by being supportive. Or which nurturing, is, even. Nurturing, sure, absolutely. Which is valid and beautiful, but also problematic yeah. Ah, but Bandai has got us covered here. Yeah. Mm. Um, the so in Gundam, mm. in every single uh, series of Gundam, ever um, about halfway through, um, Bandai um, needs to sell more toys. <laughs> uh, Gotta love that money angle. Uh, so they they want to sell more toys. Mm. So they change up the main mobile suits. Somebody's robot gets blown up. Yeah, there's a blow-up, someone's just not powerful enough to overcome an obstacle, mm. so something new has to happen. Mm. Um, you know, the Gundam X becomes the Gundam Double X. Mm. Um, you know, the the Zeta gets upgraded to the Double Zeta. Mm. Um, the Mark II gets upgraded to the Zeta. The Xia gets upgraded to the Double O. Um, this happens in every show. Mm. Um, 
the in in like in wing you've got the the wing becomes the wing zero the death scythe gets the death scythe hell uh everything everything gets upgraded you should look those up too they're cute um yeah if you haven't seen them check them out mm. um and so mid-season mm. um build fighters try upgrades and, uh, and remember, this is a show for us. It's a show for kids, but it's also a show for fans of Gundam. There's a lot of callbacks for us. Correct. So we know going in, when we see Femina build this cute little you know, SD Gundam, which has always been only in kid shows, like little, little kid shows, um, we know that there's going to be a turn. Mm -hmm. there's going to be a point where she has to have a new, better thing, and it's going to be halfway through the season. Mm -hmm. So in that way, the show is letting us know, something's coming. Don't panic yet. Correct. Um, so mid-season, the break happens, mm -hmm. and um, the build-burning Gundam um, gets replaced with the tri-burning Gundam, which is actually not a different Gundam. It's the same Gundam, but it has better joints that are mm -hmm. more able to handle Sekai's martial arts. And he gets that Gundam from a woman. Yeah, a yeah. Girl. Well, a girl. a girl. Yeah, yeah. Um, she helps him build it. A um, mysterious girl with blue hair who kind of seems like maybe she's a clone shows up mysteriously and mysteriously shows him how to fix his Gundam with reinforced joints. Yeah. Mm. Um, and who is uh, beyond expert pilot. Mm. Uh, the only fight that we've seen her in so far, she single-handedly <laughs> annihilated three experts. Yeah, basically, the other guys in her team were like, no, nah, you were late today. You go in and handle them yourselves. And she yeah. goes in and she just lilts and dances her way through destroying three Gundam by herself. Yeah, um, and it's, yeah, world, world-class world Gundams. It's, so she's, she's... Also, her build is gorgeous. Her robot is gorgeous. I can't wait to get it. Yeah. Um, it comes out next month. So. Yay! There's that. Um, so, okay, so that's the Tri-Burning mm. tri Gundam. Mm. Um, the Lightning Gundam actually remains the Lightning Gundam, um, but it, it gets upgraded to the Lightning Gundam Full Burner, mm. uh, for, for Full Vernier or whatever. Um, Which the translation is kind of weak. We haven't really seen much of what that is yet. Um, well, yes and no. I mean, it's the Lightning Gundam, but it has a better backpack. Yeah, okay. Um, we haven't seen, at least as far as the show goes, at the time of filming, um, we haven't seen his, whatever his new gimmick is. I don't think he has one. Oh. Uh, I don't think he has one, because in the first episode uh, where he was using it, he mm. did use it, and effectively what it does is it lets him use the Trans Am mode from Double O, but without any break. He mm. can continually use it. So he acts at three times performance. Without being red. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and that's... We were talking about callbacks. Um, so Sorry. the Trans Am mode from Double O mm. is a mode where you turn your Gundam red and pink. it gets reddish pink mm. and it gets three times performance. Mm. And that's a callback to um, original Gundam to Char, Char Aznable's um, red Zaku, your red um, which was three times faster than a normal Zaku. Inexplicably. Um, <laughs> as far as we can tell, the only reason it's three times faster is, it's is because red. it's painted red. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've tried this with my fingernails. I do, in fact, type faster. Mm. You should try it. Um, and so it, it gets a new backpack. Mm. I think that's its gimmick. I, I don't think it's going to get anything special. Mm. I, I don't know. It might. Who knows? And so that's, um, that's the Lightning Gundam, mm. basically, support. Um, mm. it was, um, Sniper. Mm. Um. Which could have easily been a woman's role. Correct. Because we, we've all heard the mem by now that women are better snipers because of reasons. Mm -hmm. um, My mom's a good shot, though. Yeah. And, um, well, and, and it's, there's, there's precedent. Like, mm. the, um, the mega bazooka for, the, or the mega cannon launcher or whatever for the Hyakushiki mm. was brought in by women pilots. So, mm. um, in that, so the Hyakushiki piloted by Quattro slash Char, um, was the primary combatant there and mm. and the woman who was bringing in the weapon was the support character mm. um, but no 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 so um yeah he yuma is is definitely a supportish character in this mm. regard mm. um which is cool mm. uh, fumina then has the star winning gundam and what's important i think in some ways about the star winning gundam is the catalyst mm -hmm. that uh 
makes her desire to build the Starbinding Gundam is a complete defeat at the hands of the Lady Maiji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lady Kawaguchi beats her handily. handily. And then um, she learns a lesson about being a support pilot. Right. And I think what's cool about Lady Kawaguchi is there's no explanation. There's no, like... There's no, like, flashback to really tell us, okay, so there's always been this w woman who is an answer to the male Kawaguchi who is, like, supposed to be, like, the best of the best of the Gundam build mm -hmm. fighters. Yeah, she's just she, in this one. There she wasn't just exists. One. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter that we never mentioned it the last season series. Yeah, the, the last season didn't have one. She just exists, and she's awesome, and she's forgotten one of her pant legs, and that's okay, because mm -hmm. she's a badass. Yeah. So she um, <laughs> she basically teaches the wise master lesson to mm. Fumina that uh, Fumina, you know, it's it's all well and good that you want to support your teammates, but you have to be independently strong. What do you got, uh, Sister, Yeah. What do, what you, do got? you bring? Yeah. Um, and so Fumina sequesters up and builds the Star Winning Gundam, mm. um, of which there is not a gun plot yet. <laughs> um, comes out February twenty. We'll buy two. We'll buy three. God knows how many we're gonna buy. Frankly, yeah. Um, I think yeah, two is the baseline. Uh, we'll mm. probably get um, at least two, maybe maybe three or four. So to get meta for a minute, uh -huh. right? So we know that the Star Winning Gundam is her next level. We've seen the episode now where the Lady Kawaguchi is basically like, "What do you got? What can mm. you do on your own?" Because it's you know. Support, okay, cool, but what do you do when the boys aren't around to play? Mm -hmm. So we're all like, oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Because we know that there's going to be the turn to the next level of Gundam. Correct. Uh, so I watched you surf through the internet, and as soon as the box art from the initial Star Winning Gundam mm -hmm. comes out, immediately the Gundam sphere on the internet starts thinking what? Well, okay. So the first, the first thought was, um, and I'll I'll show a picture of the Star Winning Gundam here. But the first thought was that it essentially would become an armor suit for the build burning or the tri burning Gundam. Um, if you if you look at it at a glance, it mm. does kind of look like it could be um, a leg piece, an arm piece, um, and shoulder pieces that could snap onto the the tri winning. Or, sorry, the Tri-Burning Gundam. Which would play into the idea of Femina as a support role and as self-sacrifice and that sort of thing, which is not where it goes. Yeah, and also, um, and also, I mean, that's, it. it's not an irrational thing, too, because at this point we have, um, some of us have seen the, um, the Gundam Tryon 3. Mm. Um, which is a combiner um, that is three different three different suits that turn into one. Um, Although we do have our male our main characters telling us that the build for that is not particularly logical. Yeah, it's not practical. Mm. Yeah, um, and then it, we've also uh, as of a week ago mm. the what is it, the SDG? Um, oh yeah, the little there's a team of SD Gundam, and they're they're almost identical. The three. Um, and they are also combiners. They yeah. also combine into a three-headed dragon. Um, so it's not out of the question to assume that the Team Tri-Fighters is not also going to do something where they combine. Right. Um, and some, some talented people also chopped apart pieces of photos and stuff and put them together with the tri burning Gundam mm. uh, and the backpack from the Lightning Gundam mm. to make a combined set of all three of the characters. Mm. Um, Crazy fan art. It looks okay, yeah. um, but it doesn't look logical. The mm. colors are just not there. It's mm. There's no eye for design on on the kit, the finished kit. And there's nothing that they, the, the fan art could do about it because that's the pieces that were there. Right. But then the third option is what? The third option that was... That the fans believed. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, that if that if you look at the pieces um, and the ways, uh, like the backpack pieces, the ways that they connected, um, the, the polycaps in them and everything, mm. that you could actually take the backpack pieces off and take the extremities off of the, the winning Gundam and basically recombine it and turn it into a high grade instead of a, a super deformed model kit. So instead of being an adorable little guy like this, 
it could conceivably look like a fat ass. Ooh. Yes. Okay. If you don't break my ex. <laughs> I didn't <damage>. break him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was the... Oh, no, it's the ex. Yeah. yeah, that's the ex avalanche. Ah, uh, okay. This sort of dark matter version. Suggestion. This is not meant to be an accurate... No, because that's not even the star winning. That's, <laughs> this is not that's a, actually the winning gun. Right, the star winning just gun, the winning gun, gun doesn't exist yet. Right. Um, and I. Yeah. And you hate me. I love you so much. Um, but yeah, if you if you looked at the pieces, if mm. you looked at the polycaps, it made perfect sense that they were additional limb limb spacers. Um, and this yeah. set my heart a flutter. I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. and 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 this was in December that mm. we first started seeing hints of this. We were teased. Yeah, um, so it so was Bandai a was long tease. Yeah, Bandai's been pushing this for a while, mm. um, and then so the heritage here that we've talked about with other women pilots that there is a heritage, there is a lineage in the robots. We do see when we first see the star winning Gundam. Mm -hmm. Before we know anything about what her real gimmick is, mm -hmm. we see the heritage of the women pilots before us because she has bits. Yeah, funnel bits. Mm. Yeah, um, the pieces that that look like limbs basically come off to become beam cannons that float around her and are able to handle, um, you know, extensive distance fighting and and independently, like you know. Bats. Yeah, like as if she were a new type or something. Right. We see who has those. We see Marina has those. Marina well, Cruz has those. The very first is the um, is the um, the Elmef. The Elmef, which is Lala Soon. Lala Soon, mother of Gundam, right? Um, yeah, so that's the first, and then the Kubali. Kubali um, and variant Kubalis from then on. Yeah, um, and basically all all of the the really powerful new type stuff. Mm -hmm. um, even even whenever Amuro hits his pinnacle um, with like the high new Gundam, it mm -hmm. has it has very similar pieces. But as soon as I saw the bits kind of come off of this adorable mm -hmm. little SD, I was like, oh, she's claiming her heritage as a woman of Gundam. Yeah, she's basically reaching out and grabbing and like being like, no, we're we're always the best of the best. We die tragically, but we're always the best of the best. And this is the manifestation of our ability. It's these. Boop, boop, boop. Mm -hmm. Scary little things. Yeah. So what is the ultimate result? Who Whose conspiracy theory ends up being correct? Um, well, my, my initial thought was that it was going to change from an SD to an HG. Mm. Um, and that was correct. Yeah. Like, from... From the moment I saw the polycaps on the back, yeah. uh, I pretty much knew what it was. And then... A week ago, um, Bondi showed the actual front cover of the box, yeah. um, which had a picture of a more slender, um, more realistic-shaped head um, okay. on the, the winning Gundam. Mm. Um, so that was suggestive that that was the case. But then in the, the most recent episode, it was confirmed um, because she totally went HG. Uh, or RG, I guess, is the case may be, but um, that's there's a there's a weird line with build fighters uh, where the um, Iori Say's builds in the first series uh, were called RG system, um, and it was of course reference to the real great great kits, uh, but those don't exist. No. Yeah, they don't exist. <laughs> we cannot get it. We cannot get a build strike in RG, uh, which is silly. But we would buy one. Yeah, yeah. And I are you listening? Um, you can't get... Um, translate. Can't get the Star Build Strike mm. um, in RG, mm. and you most certainly can't get the Burning Gundam mm. or anything like that. But the Star Winning is an RG system. Um, Which therefore calls back to Yori saying, basically, is like, this thing that she built is bizarre and strange, nobody's done it, and it's a real grade, so... And it's super <laughs> cool, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um... So yeah, no, it, um, it it changed from an SD to an HG or RG, as the case may be. But the kit, which comes out February twenty eighth, um, not that not that I'm paying attention to this or bitter. Um, yes, because um, we totally went shopping today looking. Yeah, we were hoping that maybe there was a pre release or something, <laughs> but no, no. Today was just the lightning back weapon system Mark II. Um, so we've still got a couple weeks to wait. Yay, for more that. guns! Um, but the moment that we actually see the gimmick in play is really important too. I think. Oh. 
Well, because we see... Okay, so they've been... It, now it's the second episode that they're still having the same fight with this dragon because the dragon is badass. And the dragon is made up of SD Gundam. Correct. Okay. Super deformed, adorable Gundam. They turn into a scary dragon and obliterate the team. Okay, they are badass. Mm -hmm. And we're like, oh my god, what are they going to do? And your Not Yori. Sekai? Sekai is basically like, I don't care about your badassness. Here I am, the walking dead. I'm going to keep fighting, even though you blew one of my arms off. No problem. And he basically says at that point, I'm going to make a path for you. Yeah. And I'm, I'm getting taken out. He straight up calls it, I'm getting taken out. I'm not making it through this fight. Mm -hmm. But I will make a path for you. And he gets blown to shit. Mm -hmm. He is blown up. And in that moment, he takes on what is traditionally a woman's role in a lot of these scenarios. Correct. He is self-sacrificing so that then she steps forward, and she's cute, and then she's badass as she forms into the RG, and everybody's like, nobody's seen anything like this, what the fuck, oh my god, that's some level 11 stuff. Yeah. And then she basically jumps in there and is like, I see that you're fighting because you're bitter and angry. I'm fighting to have fun, you know, have fun. Sorry, and then she blows up the dragon. Yes. And that's it. That's it. It's her win. It's her win, and it's her win set up by support, mm -hmm. which is such a role reversal and such a beautiful moment that I'm like, yeah, and I'm going to make my daughters watch this show mm -hmm. and build this robot, and I'm going to build this robot. Yeah. And it's, and it's not just halfway crooks either. Like, it's not... An SD that kind of turns into kind of an RG. The robot looks gorgeous. Yeah, it does. It and it, it's reminiscent of the winning of the Star Winning Gundam, mm. um, but it's definitely its own thing. Mm. Um, it yeah, it looks <coughs> it looks lovely. I'm dying to see it in person. See how it plays out once it's actually built. Yeah, and there's there's no photos of it so far. There are mm. no photos of the final version of the mm. HG. Um, those might be leaked any day now, hopefully. I'm curious to see what it looks like, mm. but, um, no, it's a, it's a great looking kit. I'm mm. really excited. Mm. My only, um, yes. <laughs> so far, these cans are in Japan, it's crazy. <laughs> yes, these, this is, um, this is Chuhai, uh, which <laughs> is, um, a shochu highball. Strong. Yes, strong, strong zero. The, um, Eight. A brief commercial break. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. 8%. Um, beer is what? Like 1.5 to maybe 2.5%. Mm. Uh, and this is not the, the top. They go up to 9%. Um, so they're, they're super alcoholic for, you know, just basic canned drinks. And they are full of shochu and they're fruit flavored. Um, so they're, they don't even, they barely taste like alcohol. Um, they're Sneaks very dangerous, and the cans are enormous. Yeah. Uh, and that's like 150 yen, so about a buck twenty, roughly. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's 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 awful. Um, so don't drink and drive. Yeah, don't don't drink and drive. Um, but anyway, my my apprehension about the star winning Gundam, mm. as far as the the gunpla goes. Mm is that it is currently marked at 1,200 yen. Um, 1,200 yen is about 10 bucks, um, but that is distinctly less than the Tri-Burning Gundam. Mm. Um, and it is definitely less than the Lightning Gundam. The Lightning Gundam, I think, is about 1,600 yen, and the Tri-Burning is about 1,900. But it is in line with the higher-end SDs. Oh, it, yeah, it's... it's Like the really fancy SDs with the shine and all that sort of thing. Oh, it's... It, yeah, uh, it's... There are some SDs that go above that, but by and large, yeah, that's that's They're above like it. Four bucks. So My right. concern is, is that it's, like, on the lower end of most of the HG kits. Mm. Um, so I'm concerned that it's not going to be, you know, a great quality HG kit. Or that's just a marketing thing because they know ultimately it looks like an SD on the box, so they're selling into an SD market. And SD market's only going to pay so much. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Or um, they just want to make it easy. For people to pick up for girls. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm, I'm a little apprehensive about yeah. that, but we'll see how that goes on the 28th. Van and um, I were watching. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, you're very threatened by two random assholes. 
Um, so that's, um, yeah, no, that's, that's my concern about mm. the star winning, um, as far as the gunpla goes, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping it does well. That's very meta and has very little to do with the actual story. Yeah. Um, I'm also concerned because, well, for one, um, Build Fighters Try hasn't gotten a single MG kit yet. Mm. Uh, by this point in Build Fighters, uh, we had an MG of the Build Strike and the Sengoku Astray. Um, so we haven't gotten a single MG in this set series yet. Mm. Um, and ironically, we're getting another Build Fighters kit in the form of the Dark Matter Exia um, later this month. Mm. Um, and, and we're talking ultimately here for people who only follow the story or whatever, or just listening to this because you like us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever's wrong with you. SD, these cute guys. Yes. Lowest grade. They're yeah. very easy to put together. They're a couple of big pieces. I can build them. My daughters can build them. My, yeah. my five-year-old builds them. If I if I build an SD kit, <coughs> it takes about five ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, um, I take an hour. The HG kits, which are um, actually none of those, the the Exia Avalanche and this throne here that's almost invisible in the on the camera here, it's but they're so they're they're about six inch kits, and they take um, they take about forty five minutes for um, an experienced builder and a couple hours for most people. Yeah, it takes me about a couple hours. Yeah, um, and then an MG kit, uh, um, this blue frame astray, and that X Gundam there. Those are master MG kits. Grade. Master kit, master grade, and they're about they're about eight to ten inch roughly. Mm -hmm. um, they take. They usually take me about uh, two hours, roughly. Now, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, just just a straight build. Mm -hmm. um, inexperienced builders usually it's about four to six hours, roughly. Um, they they're much more complicated and they're bigger. I haven't built one yet. Yeah, yeah, you haven't. Mm -hmm. um, so I like SDs. They're fun. Yeah, SDs are cool, um, <laughs> and I, I HGs are the the bulk of what you get because. Right. They're the most selection. Right. Uh, almost everything gets an HG kit. Mm. Um, I, I really like the MG kits, though, uh, because they have more space to do customization. And there's there's a lot more to tinker with. Um, I really want to see Build Fighters MG kits. Mm. Um, the Build Strike full package um, in MG is a beautiful kit. It's wonderful. That was also your nickname in college, wasn't it? Sorry. No. Um, no. Just no. Full package. Um, Penis. No. The build, build strike is wonderful. Um, and I really want to see more. I'll, I'll probably... Actually, I might not end up getting the Dark Matter Exia on release because it looks like it might be released at the same time as the, the Star Winning Gundam. Um, and I, the Dark Matter Exia is going to be 5,000 yen. Hmm. Um, the Star Winning is going to be 1,200 yen. And I'm going to get two of them. So... I don't want to be spending 7,500 yen that day. Which is 70, about, Well, it's not quite $75, but it's uh, it, it's it's about 60, 65, roughly. See, we're responsible about our spending. Yeah. Um, so I really want to see MG kits. Hmm. Uh, I would really love to see the Build Burning Gun done. MGSD. That's yeah, that's that's complicated, and I'm concerned about that. Uh, I really want to see the build burning in MG. I really want to see the lightning Gundam in MG, oh. um, and I would really like to see some sort of winning Gundam in S in MG form. I'd want to see it in RG because I mean they claim that it's an RG. Yeah. So yeah. so MG. I don't RG think that's possible though. Uh, I don't think it's possible mm. because the RG kits all have a similar framework. Mm. Um, the frames they have are a skeleton. Yes, and you build the pieces on top. Like you build the skeleton, and then you put the armor around the skeleton as you would if it were a real robot. Correct. And most of the RG kits, like the RG kits, are almost all identical skeletons. Mm. Some of them are slightly different, mm. but by and large, they're the same frame. Mm. Uh, and that frame is definitely not a frame that could be transformed. Mm -hmm. um, so in order to do that, they would have to do an RG kit that is exclusive to the star winning and they haven't done, they, I don't think they've done any completely exclusive, only slight modifications to mm -hmm. the RG skeleton. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that they wouldn't do it unless they had a few kits in mind for that exact skeleton. But what was the other thing you were saying about the star winning Gundam and its gimmick to transform 
Has it ever been done before? No, Bandai has never done that. Um, there are some fan builds um, over the years where people have done an SD that could be transformed into an HGK. Um, but Bandai's never done it officially. Mm. In um, how many years? 20? About 35 years. 35 years? Yeah. What years that I've been alive? Yeah. Um, I like to find things that are older than me. <laughs> Gundam is older Gundam than is older than me. Char is older than me. Yes. All right. Um... So it's never been done. Um, Build Fighters <coughs> Try is actually doing... Um, well, it has an SD that turns into an HG. That's a huge deal as far as Gunpla is concerned. Also, they have the, the Gundam Try on 3, hmm. uh, which is a huge deal because it's the first combiner. Um, and so, yeah, Build Fighters Try is doing weird stuff. Hmm. Um, the reason I say that I don't think that that's going to happen with RGs is that RGs are really like the pinnacle of standard Gunpla engineering. They take a ton of work. That is the best sentence you've ever said. It, well, it, I mean, it's true. <laughs> they they they're very slow to come out. Yeah. Uh, we're just they now getting years. like Wing Gundam, uh, or we've just got the Wing Zero Custom, which we've done a video of. You should go mm -hmm. look for it. Yeah, you should check it out. Um, <laughs> it's gorgeous. And they're basically doing like the main character from each Gundam line, and they don't the even boy pilot. They don't have yeah. They don't have um, like. The God Gundam, mm. the Shining Gundam. They don't have the standard wing, the Wing Zero. Mm. Um, they're just they've got an Exia. They're just now getting to the Double O. Mm. Um, they don't have an X Gundam. Mm. Um, they do have the Strike, mm. um, the Destiny, the Strike Freedom. Gorgeous kids. With uh, a similar spine. They're, they're so very pretty. They have, the skeletons are identical. So. Yeah, they they have the RX seventy eight, the the Mark II, the Zeta. I don't think they have a double Zeta yet. I don't wonder why. Um, because it's a transforming kit, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, they have Char Zaku, the standard Zaku. Um, they just did a Zagok. Um, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a weird one. Um, but, but they don't have a lot of RG kits, mm -hmm. and they take a very long time to build. Um, it, Bandai, Bandai has to put a lot of resources to it. Okay. So, totally ignoring gender. Yeah. Let's pretend that gender is not a thing at all. Mm -hmm. And let's look at the tri, tri fighter team. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. If you if you didn't know what genders the characters were, you just knew their stories and what they're piloting. Mm -hmm. First episode. So when we're looking at the the, the lightning the Gundam. Oh, the cardigan, cardigan. The lightning Gundam and the build burning. Right. Who's the boy pilot there? The build burning. Is it or is the build burning more like a char? reference he's he's the they, they refer to sakai as the ace pilot regularly yeah no which is a thing they call shark it's it's a throwback to the the god gundam yeah it's a throwback to the god gundam okay. I, uh, no lightning gundam i mean lightning gundam, lightning is, gundam is the boy pilot yeah the, I, the I don't, boring the, one the, the, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're both coded that way. Mm -hmm. They're they're coded that way from different series. Mm -hmm. um, the Burning Gundam is definitely a throwback to G Gundam, and the Lightning Gundam is definitely a Universal series, Century style okay. primary Gundam. I just, I feel like Femina's role is if you if you ignore gender and you take out the gender coding mm -hmm. and you look at it as she's the one who's there to bring them together. Yeah, she's the catalyst for the action. Without her, the whole story doesn't happen. And well, she's the leader of the team. She's like, the you know the heart. Ex yeah. Oh, she's the heart of the team. She's the leader of the team, and that's interesting because Sekai, whenever he talks about her, he doesn't call her um, Femina Chan. Yeah, no, he calls her Femina he calls Senpai. Her senpai, which is you know honored. Yeah, well, she's his leader. Right. Like, she is the leader of the club. Right. I just I think I think it's very charming that he refers to her as Senpai consistently mm -hmm. and the translation of the show doesn't give you that detail which is a shame um, I, there's a lack of context yeah 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 that's different cultural context you call her boss and boss it still doesn't work <laughs> i don't think it means the same thing like it doesn't it's significantly different but you can look up the significance of some pie yeah and ignore the stupid man please do yeah ignore please the stupid do. man that's um, an american thing the yes, Kuska, uh, Kus, uh, Kuska calls her um, F uh, Fumina Chan, I believe, though. I don't know. Or Fumi Chan, actually. I've, Fumi -chan? I'm, I'm almost certain that he called her that in the last episode. Do you know we didn't even talk about the sister? 
Mirai, Mirai, Mirai. Is her name Mirai? Mirai, yes. It's Mirai uh, Kamiki. Is that a straight up callback or just yeah. a funny coincidence? I, there's no coincidences. There's no coincidences. Mirai there's isn't no like a. That's not like a common name or anything. No. So it's, it's Mirai, Mirai Kamiki. Mm. Um, she pilots. Well, she's, <laughs> she is an idol character. Yes. She's, uh, a, she's a model. Yeah, she's a model. model. She's a professional model, and she ends up um, doing um, Spokes spokesperson Spokes work yeah. for the Gunpla Battle. Which uh. is not just wearing a bikini, but it's also like going and interviewing people and, and being a friendly... It's, um, yeah, she's media a, relations. Yeah, exactly. She's she's a friendly face. Um, but she ends up having to pilot the Bear Guy F, so the Bear Guy cute. family. Um, she builds <laughs> this with... Um, with um, Yuma, Yuma, uh, yeah, um, they build it together. It's um, very sweet. And its its gimmick is that it has this little guy. <laughs> Sorry, I love this robot. Um, and yeah, it's it's adorable, and it's it's a callback to his um, Yuma, Yuma's sister's Bear Guy F. Right. Bear Guy San. Um, or sorry, Bear Guy San. Bear Guy San. Um. Let me, let me Gundam explain you. Let me Bear Guy explain you. Yeah. And of course the Bear Guy is, or the Bear Guy San is a throwback to Gunplot Builder's Beginner G. Okay. Um, and that is a reference to the Act Guy, a classic mobile suit. Which is kind which of Which kind guy. of stinks. Uh, they're, they're, there's a relationship. But that's, um, that's another pilot. Hmm. And she has an awesome episode. She, uh, and episode actually, honestly, if you want a standalone episode of the show, without any any other Gundam reference, like if you just want to watch a show about some crazy people and some robots that's really funny and cute, the episode where she pilots the Bear Guy family mm -hmm. is fine on its own. It is. It's I good. highly recommend it. it yeah, it's, it's basically a, stand, a complete standalone episode. Um, there's some great feminist commentary in there there's a lot about familial love and matrilineal behaviors and whatever mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't care anyway <laughs> yeah um so yeah there is um some discussion about women's in um gundam mm. and um, the importance of the star, star winning gundam, winning gundam. Mm -hmm. yeah um we will um if you've if you've followed us this far, um, sorry. No. If you, if you followed us this far, um, if you have any other um, topics that you would like us to discuss, or um, series you'd like us to unpack, yeah, yeah, just let us know. Mm -hmm. um, we we will do deconstructions and chatter about various things. Um, and if you are going to be a support character, remember, don't spread yourself too thin, and make sure you have a gimmick on your own. Yeah. All right. Matane, everyone. Matane.